Hello everyone, I'm Trustin44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avedon 3. Last episode we did a bit of did a bit more exploration where we had to be. We uh cleared out a little area over and near the green refuge of some corrupted guys and then found a maze underneath that was very confusing. Not sure what's going on there, hopefully it's something we'll deal with later. Also, spoke with one other person in Kyrick Tor who wants us to get some trophies for her. That'll be later. And cleared out some locked doors in Camp Nightshade. Now, well, there's nothing really left for it. It's time to go over to the corruption. The rotting border. We got a lot of quests over there. Let's go start dealing with some of them. And we're already here. Oh, look at all of that. Yep, there's a lot to do. And there's the corruption. It's just crossed over. There are several barricades in this ravine built to defend this road from invaders. They have been abandoned, and the sharpened logs are developing patches of moss. You aren't sure why they were left behind, but the patches of dead land are a hint. You aren't alone, though. There's a figure standing in the path just ahead. It's a stone construct, swaying from foot to foot and staring at you silently. You recognize it. It's a smart-talking construct that fled from you. That from that fled from you outside the green refuge. It isn't any friendlier now. When you get close to it, it lets out a loud grinding noise. Then it turns and flees. Wait, come back! It doesn't respond. It just lumbers off and head towards the end of the ravine, and then turns south or er, north. Hold on, I'm gonna reload, and while we have that there, that's something that someone, that another one of our companions has been taking, so I'm going to take them instead. Alright, I'm back here with Selena and Nathalie. Let's see if Selena has anything to add to this. Selena turns to you. This is so lucky! We found it! We, we should help it! Wait, come back! It doesn't respond, it just lumbers off and heads toward the end of the ravine, and then turns north. Alright, let's go after it. From here, you get your first view of the corruption. After months of exploring the verdant woods of the Wild Realm, the dead waste before you is shocking. To the south, as far as you can see, the land is poisoned and the grass and trees are dead. The wasteland is sending tentacles of disease north, poisoning the once healthy ground. A river flows from the north into the corruption, and then it just dies. The dead land splits up and absorbs the flowing water, leaving the ground to the south barren and dry. And this horror is expanding, claiming villages and farmland as it grows. It is terrifying. You can see why this disaster would drive the rebels to negotiate. Right, follow after the thinking construct. There's a small village ahead, just at the edge of the spreading disease. The tendrils of dead land have already consumed much of this town's cropland, and corruption is approaching the wooden buildings. There's nobody here. Understandably, the villagers fled, except smoke rises from the chimney of the northernmost building. Someone, or something, is here. Warrior's Hall. I'm following this thing. That's the northernmost building. The sign is covered with strange symbols. You can't understand any of them. Selena looks and ta kneels and takes a close look. This is a Tinker Mage code. Something about the workshop here. Can't understand it, though. Not my clan. The thinking construct is waiting by the doors. When you get close, the doors open slightly on their own. The construct clumsily slips through, and the doors close behind it. Alright, we'll investigate that after we look around the town a bit. At whatever is around the town, if anything. Sure, use one lockpick. Jerkin of the Wilds! Hmm, that actually might be useful for someone. Sure, we had to use one, but we have two companions. We could. I mean, why not? Yeah, there's the corruption tearing up the farmlands. Alright, what's in the warrior's hall here? Light, please. Looks kinda empty. That door won't... can't be picked. There must be a way in there. Ah! Hello! That did something, but I don't know what. Ah, it must have opened this. Diamond! Ooh, that's the first time I've seen a diamond. Valuable. And 
Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Actually, that's a lot of blood out there. It's a little concerning. We've got a silo here, I think. Yep, silo. Absolutely nothing in here. Some dried meat, and that's it. I guess I shouldn't have expected anything special in here. Anything behind? Uh, just walls. That's the meeting hall. There's the outhouse. This one's... Romia the Shaman. Herbs and elixirs. Anything? There's still someone here. There is only one human left in this old crumbling village. She is an old shaman, sitting by her fire, grinding up herbs in a mortar and pestle. Her fingers are permanently stained green, and potions line the shelves on her walls. She must be hard of hearing. She doesn't detect you until you are close. She uses her staff to lift herself to her feet. She must also be nearly blind. She waves the staff at you. Its tip glows a sickly green. I am Shaman Romia, last defender of Zetra. Get out of here, invader. This is still our land. Are you a rebel? Romeo squints, confused. What? A rebel? We are free folk. We don't meddle with all that. Who are you? I was just exploring the village. You are a human. You are not my enemy, I can tell from your voice. You picked a dangerous place to explore, wanderer. She lowers the staff. You are no foe. Come, join me. The free people are courteous to guests. What happened to your village? The corruption. It came for us. Soon it will overwhelm us. We saw it coming months ago, but we never thought it would reach us. Then it came. We are free people, and we are proud, but we can't resist this. Most of us fled. You call yourself free people? We are the independent tribes in the wildest parts of the wheel room. We don't join with other clans, rebel or not. We keep to ourselves and keep our own way. Do you follow the pact's laws? Of course, we are not suicidal. We are small, so we must respect your power. Do you know anything about the rebellion? I know it was madness. They should have asked the free people. We could have told them. When you are small, you must submit. Where did the other villagers go? Many left in all directions, returning to distant relatives in other clans. Some of us wanted to protect this land. They moved to the stone circle nearby. We think the magic there will hold the corruption back. Why didn't you go with the villagers? Someone has to stay here, maintain our claim. I am too old to go. I am also using my arts to learn about the corruption. I am trying to find a spell or potion that can keep it out of our land. I can't do it myself, though. I need help. I can pay. Romeo sits at the fire with you and sips tea. She grinds pungent herbs up as she talks to you. She's been abandoned here, but she'll continue her work until the last. What are you doing here? This village is our land, Zetra land. One of us must stay here to keep our claim. I will stay until the rot sweeps over us and a horror comes for me. I am still working as well. I study the corruption. Is anyone coming to steal your land? This land? Now? I don't know. Probably not now that the poison is here. This might change, though. Then I will be ready. How long will you stay? Until I die. You are studying the corruption? Yes. I am also using my arts to learn about the corruption. I'm trying to find it. Okay. Can I buy any potions? Romeo gives you a canny grin. Perhaps. I do have a little of my stock left. Perhaps if you help me deal with the corruption, I might part with some of them. Have you seen any shades at the edge of the corruption? I'm looking for them. She smiles. I see li very little anymore. I stay away from the poisoned land and its horrors. But one of our warriors visited me, visited me recently. Hackett. He said they saw something happening, southwest of here, across the river. Look there. I'd like to help you fend off the corruption. Would you? I am so gr I am grateful. The first thing I need to do is stay alive. Some of the horrors have already slipped into our village. They are in the warrior's hall. I tricked them, locked them into a room. They will break out soon, though. If you kill them, I will pay you a fine bounty. She removes a key from a pouch and hands it to you. You can use this to get to the horrors. Where are the warrior's quarters? They are in the southmost of the four buildings in our village. What do you want me to do with the horrors? Just stabbing? And burning. You can do nothing else with the beasts of the corruption. 
Okay, that's something we can easily do. That must have been the, uh, the room we couldn't open. Alright, let's take a look at the meeting hall first. Then we'll go in there. If there's anything in the meeting hall. Oh, there's a huge rat in the meeting hall. Yeah, there's rats in the meeting hall. Sure, use a lockpick. Coins, coins. Sure, but actually, no. A gate studded belt is better. Inferno bolts, potion of speed, nothing else here. Squeak. Yeah, there's nothing else in the meeting hall here. Completely abandoned and ransacked. Actually, maybe not ransacked. I don't know. Whoa, I have no idea what's caused that sudden burst of lag. Alright. Shaman Romeo managed to lock several corruption horrors in this room. A few days without food and water have done nothing to slow them down, but then they don't have mouths. Do they even eat? The creatures focus their giant glistening eyes on you. Then they attack. Alright. Let's deal with them. Oh great, fatigue. This is gonna be a bother. Ice storm? That works. Searing stalker is gonna be a problem. That's nice. Okay, Searing Stalker's death. The rest of these shouldn't be a problem at all. Behind you, the closed gate slowly begins to open. Worrying. That gate... There was nothing beyond that gate. Why is it opening? What was in there? Infected rat. That sounds wonderful. So there were rats in there. But why did the gate open? Yeah, that rat's dead. Oh, and there's something else coming out. And they're all going for Nathalie. Beautiful. Snarling Shredder. Yeah, uh... Bolt Flinger, I think, will help. That's painful. Alright, you can Blade Sweep. You can Ice Storm. Ow. And Nathalie's dead. Great. Wrong target. Right, drink that, and... I was hoping for a cleave. Haste! Wonderful! At least one of them's dead. Hellhound's gonna be killed in a moment. That helped out a lot. All that leaves is a snarling shredder. Really wish they hadn't killed Nathalie. We got this, though. Come on, die. And there we go. Okay, that was a bit irritating. A longbow, we don't need that for any of us. But is there anything in here? Chainmail, potion of speed, fleet foot boots. Ooh, plus one action point. A little less armor, but I think I'll take it. Plate boots may go to someone else. Eh, sure. 
I think it might do better with uh, Kalita. I don't know, we'll see. Let's report in on having accomplished the little job she gave us. Why is everything so laggy here? Alright, Shaman Romia. I cleaned out the Warrior's Hall. Romia nods. I heard the shouting and the squealing. I am glad you are well. There will be more, though. Many more, unless the corruption is held back. She brings you two potions and a pouch of coins. Those brews are fine work. Some of my best. Now I can begin my real work. Any other way I can help you out? I am glad you asked. I have ideas for potions and powders to keep the poison from spreading. What I need is knowledge, and I can't go to gather them. I have a fungus farm. It's underground. The last time I was there, the corruption had infected it. The fungus tried to kill me. Explore the tunnel and see if you can find out what dark magic came there. Where is your fungus hall? Due south of here. The trapdoor is at the end of a long ravine full of mushrooms. Once you are below, my fungus farm is north. The fungus attacked you? In their way. They twitched when I got close. They sprayed spores at me. They were harmless then, but I think the dark magic will make them deadly. What do you think caused the problem? I don't know. Maybe it was the magic of a creature, or a horror. Maybe it was just the raw, mindless magic the corruption brings with it. That is what I want to know. Okay. Oh, that's down where the corruption bits are. Well. Not really much else we can do over here, then. Gold bar, deep rune stone. Ooh! Rejuvenation elixir and elixir of speed. So that's what we were handed. Very nice. And I got so much stuff that I don't need, don't want to carry. Ugh. Actually, these aren't. These lightning scrolls aren't really useful, they barely do any damage. Inferno bolts is still handy, however. Anything over here? Lockpick. And here we have a lamp. All right. Right. Let's see what's in here. The doors into this abandoned workshop are locked, Ostent ostentatiously so. The surface of the door is covered with gears, switches, and other mechanisms, all designed to keep it closed. You try to figure the mess out. No success. Selena examines the mechanisms and takes a few, makes a few drawings. Getting these doors open will take a lot of time. I'll start work when we get back to camp. Excellent. And much as I'd like to continue on with you two, I think we're going to need warriors with us, especially when dealing with uh, stuff out here. So, Selena, I'm going to go back to camp and leave you to figure out that door. Nathalie, Kalita, and I are going to go and try to, uh, well, deal with the corruption here. This shouldn't take long. And I can actually switch around to the few items I'm carrying as well. Simple enough. Alright, so... Yeah, you've got chainmail boots, so... Those are better than the plate boots. The plate boots are better. Chainmail boots can be sold. And jerk into the winds. A lot of poison resistance... Yeah, I think we can sell it. Don't need it. Alright. So, we're going to go out there with Nathalie and Kalita. That's going to be a better idea, in my opinion. Back to the rotting border. We have like ten minutes left. Let's see what more we can explore. I'll investigate down there later. Yeah, I can see the corruption. It's very easy to see how it's spreading. Oh yeah, there are corrupted creatures everywhere down there. And over there. Oh, hello, they see us. Alright, let's kill them. Wait. They're hiding in an area in the center there. Interesting.
Interesting. So if we wait a bit, they may come out at us. Very interesting indeed. Okay, that's just the north exit. Zetria Settlement to the south. Well, technically Zetria Settlement was uh, just to the east, but we dealt with it. There's that patrol. We actually already killed out of it. Nullity Stalker will be dead now. Okay. So that's interesting that there's actually these patrols coming from the central camp. They didn't really go for us, did they? I think we can try to clear it out a bit more. What's over there? Ah, bunch of rats. Yeah, see? There. There's a whole bunch. We can kill these off. Almost got that shredder. Alright, and those should come back to us. In just a few moments. Yeah, this is a big river. Yep, see, they're coming back to us, and we can now kill them, because we surrounded them. Alright. That went well. Now let's see what's in this camp here. Absolutely nothing. They were just using it as like a fallback point or something. The worst of them. Okay. You reach the edge of the corruption. Nathalie stops at the edge of that vast, terrifying, dead waste. Her eyes gleam. She takes a deep breath, testing the air. She kneels and runs her fingers through this dry soil. She picks up a pebble and sniffs it. Then she raises the pebble to near her mouth. For a moment, you think she is going to taste it. Um, don't eat that. Your words distract her from her reverie. She looks at the pebble in alarm. Then she drops it. Oh, I... I wasn't. I don't think I was, anyway. The corruption has a strange hypnotic effect. It is well documented. I can't believe I am finally here. I will have my own chance to deal with the corruption's mysteries. The mysteries. There are many, but these are the two most pressing. How was the corruption created? And is it possible to draw some of its seemingly limitless power for our own ends? She is talking quickly and loudly. That's how you can tell when Nathalie gets excited about something. I want to be known as the person who found the answers. Kalita looks nervous. She is wise enough to stay silent. And what do you think? Oh, I have my theories. Now I am finally able to start testing them. Maybe we can learn something. Yes, yes, I'm sure we will. She takes another deep breath, raises her foot, and takes her first step into the corruption. Let's go. Yep, this is the corruption itself. Beware, corruption. No shit. Okay. Well, the ravine is down over there. We're supposed to look at. The river just goes down until it just completely dries up and dies. There's a lot more of the corruption over there. And that's the south exit from the corruption. I don't think I'm gonna go to that yet. Maybe later. But I guess we can go down to the edge of where we're supposed to get to for this mushroom puzzle. Oh, hello, more of these. Oh, that one burns.
Yeah, this shouldn't be too tough. Famous last words. Sure, an ice storm. Ow, ow, ow. You know what? You can, so... Yep, it'll hit them all and kill two of them. Excellent. There's that one, and... that one. Excellent. A small pity that they don't drop anything, but, I mean... I guess it wouldn't make sense if they did. Then again, the corruption being something of pure chaos, I guess they probably should drop something weird. Hello. These beasts are very, very unique. In that, well, the way they work, even their patrols, they're only dangerous if they're all together at the time. If not, well, they barely even notice you. Yeah, I could have sworn there were more fishes than just these two over there. Yeah, there, see? We're killing these easily enough. Uh, bloody phone. Oh, didn't see that one. Okay, sorry again with the phone. Okay, there we go. And down here is... That's the entrance to the cave with the mushrooms. Well, I am going to end this episode here, and next episode, we'll investigate this mushroom cave and investigate elsewhere around here. Probably take a look at the desecrated circle, then down here and look around at this stuff. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44. That is uh, Gabriel, Kalida, and Nathalie. This has been an Avidon 3 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.